Hello, people. I just got a new Sci-Fi 2.0 board and want to spruce up my old board. As you can see, it had some yellow and started to get some old wax on it. Uh, so I set out to paint my first board. I turned it from this over to this. Really happy with how it turned out. However, since it's first time, not everything went perfect. But we'll get into that. Before I could actually start painting the board, I had to scrape off that wax and make sure that it was a nice, clean deck. Now that I had all that cleaned up, I needed to tape off some of the parts so that I didn't want to paint. It took way too long to admit, but hey, now you got some tape ASMR. With the board all taped up and only one attempt, I made a test spray on a piece of paper as a sort of guide. With that in place, I was ready to start painting. With this lid, I made the outline for the planet. Next is actually coloring in the planet. This took a few attempts when I went back and forth because I wasn't happy with how it was looking, but in the end I think it turned out pretty nice. In this part you can see me with a plastic bag. This is to add texture to the planet while the paint is still wet. You can use a newspaper or plastic bag. This was just the thing I had. Also, I don't know anyone in their 20s that still buys newspaper, so yeah. I'm using black and white to add a shadow and highlight to the planet. It really helps make the actual planet pop in the end result. So I wasn't really happy with how the planet was looking, so I went over it a little bit more. I also learned from watching a couple YouTube videos that you want the paint to dry before putting the lid back on so the paint doesn't get removed, and I didn't feel like waiting so I used a heat gun. It kind of worked out. With the planet finally done, I started filling out the background. I decided it'd be really cool if at the nose of the board it would space and somehow end up with the tail looking kind of like the ocean. To help with that, I made it kind of like a gradient where it got lighter the closer it went to the tail. You can also see here that I taped off the tail area so I could have a really nice line between the sky and the ocean that I was trying to make. With the background done, I was able to start working on the clouds. By just tearing a piece of paper and rotating it in different directions, I was able to actually make it look like the sky with clouds. At this point, I really started to smell the fumes, so I decided to put on a respirator. You know how the saying goes, safety second thought, but first when you're lightheaded. Here I'm spraying the white paint on my fingers and flicking it to make the stars on the board. adding some shadowing to the clouds to give them a little bit more depth and break them up from the rest of them. And this was the part where I mixed up the white and the black spray paint. Real fun. A little bit of quick patching, make a cloud look a little bit thicker, and bada boom, bada bang, all cleaned up. 
At this point, we are just about done with the top half of the board, and I wanted to add these little shooting stars since they really tie the board together. And there's the planet. Here's the half view of the board with the tape removed. Really happy that I got that nice line to start with the water. The idea that I was going for here was similar to the top half of the board where I have on the outside darker and then towards the middle it's going to get lighter so I kind of have that reflection from like the sun beaming down into the ocean. By running my fingers back and forth I'm able to give the paint a water looking effect. Adding a little white here on that line between the two paints to kind of merge them together better. So at this point I was pretty much done feeling really good and then my camera fell. <sighs> Luckily I was able to patch most of it up so it was pretty hard to notice that anything really happened there. I would also like to take a moment to point out something real quick. If we zoom in real close here, you can see this cool thing I have called a Galileo thermometer. It measures the temperature of the room with the floating balls that have specific liquid in them, blah, blah, blah. You might have also noticed something. <clears throat> that none of them are floating. I promise the shininess throughout the video wasn't because I'm a Twilight vampire. Anyway, finally got to remove the tape and see the full board. With the tape off, the last but not least step was to dump an entire can of clear glaze on the paint so that hopefully the paint would stay on. And there you have it. This is what the uh, finished board looks like with all those coats on it and everything pretty much done with it. I wasn't actually able to record the surfing part, but after a session with some wax on and everything, the paint still looked great. Overall, really happy with the results and excited to do another one. Catch you on the flip side.